Yes. Aujourd'hui, on va discuter mon université ou bien mon école. L'expression ou bien quelques vocabulaires sur l'école ou bien mon université ou mon école. We are going to discuss few expressions on my school or my university. At the university setting, there are some things that you need to know how to say them in French. For instance, the head of the university is called Rod. The head of the university, if you go to secondary school, the head of the school is le directeur, ou bien le proviseur, the headmaster or the head teacher or the headmistress. Mais à la université, on ne dit pas le directeur de l'université ou bien de l'école. Qu'est-ce qu'on doit dire? On doit dire, dire c'est le président de l'université. Le président de l'université. Ça, c'est le vice-chancelier ou le vice-chancelier de l'université. Et nous devons comprendre. Par exemple, quand nous sommes dans la secondaire, nous parlons de ressources libres. Ressources libres. Mais à l'université, que nous parlons? Nous parlons de ressources libres à l'université level. Qu'est-ce qu'on doit dire? Est-ce qu'on dit resource slaves? Do you say resource slaves at the university? If you want to talk, please raise your hand electronically, technologically, and I'll ask you to talk, to ask questions or comment accordingly. At the university level, what do you say? We, oui, Amos. Yeah. We say academic transcripts. Academic transcripts, très bien. Mais en français, qu'est-ce qu'on doit dire? En français, on appelle ça comment? Qu'est-ce qu'on doit dire ça? Comment on doit dire? Que... C'est quoi en français? Qu'est-ce qu'on doit dire en français? En français, c'est? In French, what do you have to say? So you get to know all that. Les relevés de notes. Les relevés de notes. Les relevés de notes. And then you need to understand that. And then we talk about degrees. You need to know certificate. How do you call that? Diploma. We discuss all that. And then you know that's exactly what you want to do right now. Don't on continue with it. Donc, vous voyez, le président, par exemple, on peut vous poser une question comme Qui est le président? de votre université. If the question like that is asked, qui est le président de votre université? Ou bien le président de votre université s'appelle comment? Je suis bien vous dire, le président de mon université s'appelle monsieur le professeur. Uh -huh. Can you complete it? Le président de mon université s'appelle Monsieur le Professeur. Ça va être compliqué. Monsieur le Professeur, quoi? Ou bien, Professeur? Oh, don't you know your own uh, uh, vice chancellor's name? If you don't know his name, just like you are in second name school and you don't know your headmaster's name or headmistress's name. Is that not it? In second university, at the university level, the head of the institution is vice chancellor. So we can ask you in the form of uh, maybe writing a short essay or something. Qui est ou bien le president de votre université s'appelle Koba? Encore? Oui. If you are saying something, please raise your hand so that I can call you. Be fast. Fat vet. You will be good. Wait, Samuel. Yeah, Prof. Hansen. Monsieur le Professeur, quoi? Prof. Hansen. Hansen. You have tried, but that is the pro vice chancellor. You have mentioned the assistant. Uh, it's like assistant headmaster's name. 
that is the assistant headmaster for, let's say, academic. Do you understand? That is a vice, pro vice chancellor. You have tried by Senator Labon Repons. He is the pro VC, the pro vice chancellor, the assistant, like the assistant headmaster in the secondary school, as you normally say. The university he is the pro vice chancellor. And the, the main head is vice chancellor in the public institution in Ghana. And that's the title given. So you couldn't get it. So you are in second, it's like you are in second, you don't know your headmaster's name. You mentioned already the assistant headmaster's name, you have done well, but you need to know where. Kianko, Bright, Gidisu. Yes, way. Wait, you take Please. <laughs> His name is Professor Emmanuel Francais. This is in Francais. Il s'appelle. Il s'appelle Professor Emmanuel Henry Afouakwa. Très bien. Il s'appelle Monsieur le Professeur Emmanuel Henry Afouakwa. You need to know that. Très bien. You finish university and you don't know your headmaster's name or vice chancellor's name, then you can be awarded a certificate. So take note of that. You, you need to Let's know. Let's say five marks, five marks. Bien. OK, maintenant, yeah, five qui est le secrétaire général? Now, ici, nous sommes ici. Qui est le secrétaire général de Ghana Communication Technology University? Qui est le secrétaire général? Ou bien le chef du service in other jurisdictions? This is for, this uh, in the British setting, we say, Le secrétaire général. When you go to the US, we say le chef du service des inscriptions. So in French, you can choose any of them. So when you say le secrétaire général here, it's not just like general secretary, but the registrar. In fact, he is the general secretary for the university. But we don't say the general secretary, we say the registrar. And then we have le chef du service des inscriptions. So qui est le chef? Du service des inscriptions de Ghana Communication Technology University. Ou bien le chef du service des inscriptions de GCTU. GCTU s'appelle comment? Le chef du service des inscriptions de Ghana Communication Technology University s'appelle comment? Quel est son nom? Ou bien qui est le chef? Du service de, des inscriptions de Ghana Communication Technology University. Oui, qui parle? Oh, allez-y, mes étudiants, je vous écoute. Oui, Bright encore. Ou bien non? I, I ask him for the name, please. Maintenant, en français, oui. Quel est son nom? Il s'appelle comment? Il s'appelle Mr. Emmanuel Bouedou. Monsieur? Il s'appelle Mr. Emmanuel Bouedou. Ce n'est pas Bouedou, Bédou, Bédou. Bédou, Bédou, Bédou. Bédou. Oui, oui, oui. Monsieur Emmanuel Bédou. All these things, oh, when you are at the university, all these things were at our fingertips, so we knew them. When I was uh, we at the pursue our first degree or undergraduate level, we should know it. But these are you people, hey, <clears throat> you need to learn. Oh. They yeah. say five marks, five marks. No, you minus three, because we said word minus three or four. Oh, oh, half a loaf is better than Nana. Manos tres. Some exams, if you get something wrong, you did that some math. So Manos tres. <laughs> I know we're talking. Okay, I'm continue. Don't say that. If it's course setting, but we are not talking about the course setting. Don't on pay palette the logrifié. But we are not talking about the course. We know court to we have registrar. Do you know that? Uh -huh. But we are not talking. It's not the court that we are referring to. So let's move on. La tax de recommandation, registration fee, university. Sometimes you'll be asked to pay off. La tax de recommandation, le droit d'inscription, registration number. 
Le numéro d'inscription, we talk about all that. Les registrement or inscription, inscription is registry or registration in general. Inscription, faut faire l'inscription. If you don't, si vous ne, vous ne faites pas les inscriptions, vous ne pouvez pas être étudiant dans la université. Without registration or registry, you cannot be a student of a university. So that is why you should take note. Très bien, on continue. Et l'université aussi, on peut avoir l'hôpital ou bien l'infirmerie. L'infirmerie ou bien l'hôpital. On peut avoir ça. OK? Et l'infirmier ou bien elle, elle est infirmière. Elle est infirmière. Here we know the, the university, here we have the school nurse or school doctor. So that is what you, we, we want to refer to. Say if it's a doctor, say, elle est médecin. Le docteur, le médecin, not just the doctor. In French, we just say le docteur. It can be somebody who has his PAD and not a medical doctor or officer. But if you want to refer to the medical doctor or officer in terms of medicine, they will say, elle est médecin. Elle est médecin. OK, le médecin de la université. The médecin here is all medicine. The, the spelling is different, so you take note of that. <laughs> bon, we can have la clinic, la gestion de ressources humaines, the ressources humaines, human resource management. Le chef de la gestion de ressources humaines, head of human resource management. Le doyen de dit, le conseiller, la conseillère principale, ou bien le conseiller principal d'éducation, that the dean of education. OK, mais quand on dit le doyen, every faculty has what? Le doyen. And you need to know the doyen in your faculty. So you are faculty of what? Faculty of computing and what? Faculty the of computing system. and information systems. Is that not it? Faculty of computing yes, and information yes. systems. Qui est votre oui, doyen de la faculté? Qui est votre doyen? de la faculté. Qui est votre doyen de la faculté de Faculty of Computing and Information System? Qui est votre doyen? Votre doyen de la faculté s'appelle comment? Uh -huh. This one to if you don't know, he's serious. He's also like your headmaster or the senior house master. And when you go to secondary school at the university level, the doyen is in natural part, you are direct head teacher. Or oh, do you understand? Wait. So is a bell comma right? Le doyen yes, please. Is, I, I, I was I was gonna ask, why don't you write all for us? Because you see saying it out, we might not get it right sometimes when you write it. Since is that why don't you write all? Like what you are saying, when you write it in French for us, so say, so that we can have it in you know in ah, in, yeah, in the written What else you want me to write? Le doyen is here. No, 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 no. I mean the, the full sentence you just gave. We, everything you said in French just now. Like you let us also have it. That's what I mean. Not just the le doyen. With that, no. I, I mean you are asking which faculty do we belong to in French. So the answer, then you write it in French for us. Then we know that, okay, so this is it. That's what I'm trying to say. Now follow, you understand. That is why you are here learning. It's not everything you write on the screen or, or uh, present it for you. You understand? As I'm teaching and explaining, that shows that you are learning. It's not everything. Then the, the uh, presentation will be very verbose. Do you understand? Verbose or verbosity. Like to be words all over. So it's just the points I need to explain to you. So as I'm explaining, then you take note. If you don't know the spelling, I write it. For instance, the way I put it, you should write la, la faculté, fac, fac, faculty. The difference is not any this. You just drop the, instead of Y, it becomes the E, L, and Francais on the A. Then we put the accent on it. And I was asked, qui est votre doyen? Qui est le doyen? Qui est le doyen de votre faculté? Ah, 
This one that you don't understand. You should understand it first. That shows that you are learning something. So you can see le doyen, you say the key word is le doyen. So if you don't know le doyen, then you can't understand. And you can see I've even given you the meaning here. And then key A, key A, key A that you can get, try and follow. C'est compris? So let's continue quickly. La list des meilleurs étudiants. When you go to the uh, francophone, to, uh, universities or countries. At the end of the academic year, over here, maybe you don't have la list, la list the meilleur étudiant. We just have the results published by academic board or from your, that is from the university or from the academic board or session of the university. Like if you go and you are not, your name is not there, it means you have no pass. Like we see those who have really passed, who can progress to the next level. That is what you mean by the this list. <laughs> the this list, la liste des meilleurs étudiants. C'est-à-dire vous avez bien travaillé. You have done well. That's why your name will be there on that list. Don't you feel comprehensive? So it's like the pass list. Consider it to be like a pass list. C'est ça. Of students at the university level. Le directeur ou bien directrice des biens. Des biens. Le, you can simply say le directeur de bien, if the person is a, a, a man, ou bien la directrice de bien. After this, I don't want to bother you, head of property, you may not know, but if you, you have to ask, who is the head of pro the property in the university or the director of property, that one too is there that you can equally know. So if it's a property issue, know where to go. So directeur, De bien. It means the person is a man. But if you say la directrice de bien, and you can omit de propriété, you can do away with this, or you bring, you replace bien with propriété. That is the meaning. Donc il faut comprendre ça bien. Et nous avons la résidence universitaire. La résidence universitaire. La hall of residence. Là où les étudiants dorment, ou bien vivent, ou bien les étudiants habitent, ça c'est Hall of World Residence. C'est ça. Bon, on continue. Et maintenant, you have to know specific titles or qualifications. That's what I should have to put in. OK? Qualifications. Quelques qualifications. On peut avoir le ou bien la titulaire d'une maîtrise est lettre. Le titulaire, ou we can say la titulaire d'une maîtrise est lettre. Ou bien le titulaire d'une maîtrise des sciences. That is master of arts, science, master of arts, master of so and so. There's a difference between master of arts, master of science, and then master of philosophy. Master of philosophy degree, en français, on appelle ça diplôme de tout approfondi. That is the highest master degree. I think I should have brought it just after that one. So you see, you can come down here and check. Diplôme de tout approfondi. En français, on appelle ça de e a de e a de e Par exemple, moi, je suis titulaire de diplôme d'études approfondies. I'm a master of philosophy. Do you understand? C'est ça. Et je suis aussi le titulaire d'une maîtrise d'éducation en anglais. En anglais. C'est-à-dire, je suis, c'est-à-dire, j'ai deux maîtrises. Le titulaire, je suis Le titulaire d'une maîtrise en éducation d'anglais ou bien en anglais. Et je suis aussi le diplôme d'études approfondies en français. Et nous avons le diplôme de bachelier ou bien licencié. This is when you finish your first degree, you will be awarded diplôme de bachelier ou bien diplôme licencié 
ou bien licence S lettre, that is as, uh, Bachelor of Arts degree or Bachelor of Science. This is where you'll be diplomed the bachelor. So after here, then you can take le titulaire d'une maîtrise S lettre ou bien des sciences, or you can go for the highest master's degree, what is diplôme d'études approfondies. Diplôme d'études approfondies. So master of philosophy. So take note of that. So it can be master of philosophy in science, master of philosophy in English, master of philosophy in Ghanaian language, in linguistics, in French, and what have you. In mathematics, master of philosophy in mathematics. So that is a, what you should take note of. Et après avoir fini votre diplôme d'études approfondies, vous pouvez poursuivre, vous pouvez avoir le doctorat. Le doctorat. Le doctorat is a doctor's degree or doctorate. Donc, en la doctorate, on peut avoir le docteur en droit. Docteur ex science. Le doctorat ex science en philosophie. Et on peut aussi avoir le titulaire d'un doctorat d'État. Le titulaire d'un doctorat d'État. That is equally the highest doctorate degree. The highest doctorate degree, doctor of philosophy. So sometimes you see a lot of people say, oh, I'm a doctor, I'm a doctor. It's not everybody who may have a doctor of philosophy degree. That is a fact you should take note of. A lot of people, they just conferred it on them. Honorary doctorate, they say, I'm a doctor. Right, reverend, doctor, so, so and so. Meanwhile, he, he doesn't even have first degree. He says, a doctor. No, that's what you are referring to. For you to get le titulaire d'un doctorat d'état, it means, if you take it literally, like the state doctorate degree, literally, but we don't say state doctorate degree, it's doctor of philosophy, that's the highest form of doctorate degree, and it's recognized in the state or in the country or worldwide in academia, that is doctor of philosophy degree. Très bien. Avoir un doctorat de, so this one is an expression. J'ai un doctorat de, you can say, j'ai un doctorat de français. J'ai un doctorat en anglais, ou bien de linguistique, ou bien en linguistique. Okay, en français, en anglais. Et ça, on doit dire, to have a PhD in social and so. Donc, c'est ça. C'est bien compris? C'est compris? Avez-vous des questions? Oui, monsieur. Oui. Oui, monsieur. Avez-vous des questions? Avez-vous des questions? Avez-vous des questions? Quelqu'un a oui, dit, monsieur. Oui. dit que vous avez des questions. Si je vous je, je pose des questions, avez-vous des questions? Et vous dites, vous dites, oui, monsieur. Cela veut dire que vous avez des questions. Donc, je vous écoute. If I ask you, do you have questions? I say, oui, monsieur. It means you have questions, so I'm listening to you. Ask your questions. Si vous n'avez pas de questions, vous dites, non, monsieur, nous n'avons pas de questions. Ou bien, non, monsieur, pas de questions. So try and understand, not just, oui, monsieur, oui, monsieur. <laughs> okay, on continue. Bon. Donc, c'est ça, hein? So, une université, a university, that is it. I, I think you should know the spelling. We have done it, all that. Examen de passage. When you say examen de passage, that's end of year exam or final exam. Un emploi du temps is a timetable. Timetable. Take note. Un emploi du temps. Un emploi du temps. Passer un examen. Passer un examen is to sit for an examination. I should have cleaned it and asked you what does it mean, passer un examen. And then somebody will say is to pass an exam. It, it never, it doesn't mean to pass an exam. Pass an exam. I met a, one of the guys, I think the first group, he might have some Francophone background, and he was still challenging, saying that pass an exam is synonymous with to pass exams. Never. It's like to pass exam. You, you need to learn, we call this in French, for their me. It looks like it looks like in English, like to pass, but it's for the me. It's never to pass an exam. It's never to pass 
uh, an exam is to sit for an examination. Per se an exam, so take note of that. Per se an exam, to sit for an examination. This one is secondary school expression. We don't need to bother yourself, headmaster, headmistress. But actually reçu, this is the point, to pass. So you can say, yes, you reçu, nous sommes reçu. If I say, nous sommes reçu, it means we have passed our exam. Vous êtes reçu. Ils sont reçu, they have passed. And the opposite is échoué. Échoué, il ne faut pas échouer. You don't have to fail. Il faut boxer. Il faut étudier. Sérieusement et studieusement. C'est comme ça, vous n'allez pas échouer à l'examen, dans votre examen. If you study seriously or studiously, definitely you are not going to fail your exam. You are not going to fail. You will not say that the lecturer has failed you. No lecturer will fail you. You fail yourself. You fail your exam or whatever you write. So take note of that. Bien. On continue. So now, oh, let me go back and clean this quickly. It looks as if when I, I change the slides, when one of the conjugation and <laughs> I can see uh, verbs. There's no verbs at all. We are not dealing with verbs here. Bon, 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 bon. Ça c'est mon, mon université. On parle de mon université ici, ou bien mon école. Okay. Okay, on continue. Where did you get to? Is it here? Yeah, so now, uh, toujours avec sous l'expression, les, l'expression sous mon école ou bien mon université. Le conférencier ou bien la conférencière is considered to be a lecturer at the university. Okay. Un bousier ou bien un économe, économe, éco, économe. Is a beza. An enseignant is a teacher. Le proviseur adjoint, like on the secondary school level, you can say assistant headmasters. Un enseignant is what? A teacher. Enseignant chercheur, teacher come researcher. Or lecturer, the university level, you can say, je suis enseignant chercheur. Because every lecturer might be a researcher. So teacher come researcher. Teacher Cam researcher or lecturer cam research, enseignant chercheur. Okay. An instituteur, that is this a primary school teacher. I, I we just take note of different names for teachers or lecturers. Teachers. Secondary school teacher is what well, not professor or enseignant. Primary school teacher is instituteur. If it's masculine, if family, institutrice. Fin Institutrice, institutrice, that's a primary school teacher. Primary school teacher. So the chef will be a responsible, a monitor, will be a monitor the class. That is a course rep. The chef, you can ask you, who is your chef of the class? Who is your monitor of the class? Who is your monitor of the class? If it's a lady, that is a course rep or a course prefect. Le directeur can be the headmaster, okay? La directrice, the headmistress, le professeur principal, the class teacher or four master. But then we have a low proviseur, that the headmaster of a high school, you see. So we should take note of all that. We are not in secondary school, but try and understand this as well. Mais en français, mais quand on dit monsieur le professeur, if you just see professeur, professeur can be a teacher at the high level, or senior high school level, or a, a, a lecturer or a teacher. But once you have Monsieur le Professeur, we are referring to a professor, Professeur titulaire. Take note of that. Et nous avons le relevé de notes. I mentioned it. That is an academic transcript. And then we can have projet de recherche. Okay, le projet de recherche, thesis proposal or sketch or research project or proposal. And then we can have 
matricule, will be a numero matricule. Matricule is registration number. And pay me the tooth, steady payment. If you are a foreigner and you are in any country, you need to have one. And pay me the tooth. You for obtain and pay me the tooth. You for obtainir, you for obtainir and pay me the tooth. You need to get all steady permit. Our ancestors share, share. We have talked about take conference here. Metal the conference is for senior lecturer. So take note of that. Metal the conference at the university. In terms of uh, lecturers, our ranks. We can even have assistant lecturer. We can have lecturer, which is well, conferencier, or making the conference. That is senior lecturer. And then we can have been the tooth, been the tooth. That is all to study. This are the, the, this and take note of a study. Been the tooth me study. And we can have a student, student, a tooth. Let the tooth studies. And then we can have le sujet. Le sujet. Le sujet is what? Le sujet. Can we do le sujet? Le sujet. Let me minimize and write it for you to see what I mean. Le sujet. Cela veut dire quoi? Le sujet. Can you see what I'm tapping? Le sujet, cela veut dire quoi? Oui, monsieur. Et on peut avoir la matière. La matière. Le sujet, c'est? Oui, Emos. C'est les de sujet, mais subject. OK, you have tried, mais ce n'est pas correct. It is not correct. It looks like it's the subject. It's never the subject. Look at what I'm tapping. This is rather the subject. Subject. What about type? Can you see what I'm writing? La matière is the subject. Le sujet en français is never the subject. It's topic. 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 Take note of that. D'accord? Subject, this is subject or course that you are doing. For instance, vous faites, vous étudiez les matières comme le français, l'anglais, l'informatique et l'ainsi de suite. Les matières, subject or course. So take note of that. Merci bien. On continue. C'est bien compris? Ça compris? Yeah, the rest, when you go to the school level, the doctorate, the congé, the refectoire, the uh, vacances, the création, the rentrée, the rentrée is when you return, reopen the beginning of the term or semester. Bon, so take note of that. So, un coup, une leçon de français, fait le corps bisonnier, take note of this expression, fait le corps bisonnier to play through NC or to be true and or to play hooky. We can have to play hooky, not to play hockey, not hockey. Hooky is equivalent of the expression to play true and see, or to be true and. Hey, I'm Francais, on dit, faire le corps bisonnier. Moi, je n'aime pas les étudiants qui font le corps bisonnier. Je n'aime pas les étudiants qui aiment faire le corps bisonnier. Yeah, them ballet étudiants keep for the core bisonier. I don't like students who play true and see. So we have now conjugation of it, you know, fair. So you conjugate it appropriately accordingly. If you say, you n'aime pas, moi, you n'aime pas fair, ou bien moi, you ne fait pas, you ne fait pas the core bisonier, moi, I don't do, I don't play true and see, I don't play true and see. I'm not truant. That is the meaning. Moi, je ne fais pas. So it's a fixed expression. You can go and change it for anything. Yes. It's, it's an idiomatic expression, the natural part. You don't change it. Fais le corps bisonnier. You can say, les étudiants font le corps bisonnier. You change this. You conjugate to the third person plural. Les étudiants font. Les enfants font. Ou bien, nous 
faisons, nous faisons le corps bisonnière. We are playing through as it. So this, they, but the, the core and bisonnier, you don't touch it. You maintain it as a test. You don't utter it. C'est ça, il faut comprendre ça bien. So la matière, as you said, le sujet, oh, it's even here. And I, I, I type it there for you. Le, le discours, discours is speech. And I think the rest, you should understand all that les uh, chers auditeurs, that's listeners. And the collier, we the collier. No, what that mean? Okay, bien. Okay, I think that's it. If you have any question, you can ask for now. And uh, you can get some nice questions asking you to write just a short essay about your school in France. Don't see if you have any questions, you can ask me. Have you any questions? Have you any comments? Before we terminate our discussion. If you have any questions, you have to Levez la main. Et je suis là à répondre à toutes vos questions. À toutes vos questions. Avez-vous des questions? Avez-vous des commentaires? Je vous écoute. Avez-vous des questions? Avez-vous des commentaires? Allô, classe? Si vous n'avez pas de questions, est-ce qu'on peut terminer le cours? Donc, merci bien.